Well, good morning, everyone. Well, today we're going to go over how and what is the fastest way in Star Trek Fleet Command to get Klingon messages, Romulan message, and Federation Federation messages, as long as you're level 35 plus. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, in Voyager space, out in the Delta Quadrant, you want to send your Voyager to any of these spaces that are token space, not token mining. Token mining, you'll see this icon. It's not what we're looking for right now. So the first one that you'll have access to, I believe, nope, that's still mining. This is your first one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. You'll see it takes this other currency. It doesn't tell you how much it takes, but it takes 100 for each time you use it. And then once you're more powerful, you're going to head down to this one. I can't go beyond here, so this is my second step on this cool journey. Now let's pop that, and then I'll time lapse us here. Now we're here. <clears throat> once you're in this system, just park anywhere. Um, if you're powerful enough, you want to use Neelix on board to make it cheaper to, uh, uh, here it is, yeah, to reduce the cost of using your Voyager ability. Now, here's why. Now, the type of cards you're going to get are random, so you can't specifically go get one kind. But watch this. Okay, so there's the reduced price. Let's find the ship headed at me. It's nice and slow. And it's reward. You get a high amount of one kind and a smaller amount of the other kind. That's exactly what I wanted, Klingon messages. Now I'm a little scared because I normally would run PMC up here, but I'm trying to get a cheaper cost and a higher reward. So 5 of 11 Captain, Neelix, and I'm next sidecar, your guess is as good as mine. Ah, I lived. Good. Now, you won't see this drop appear in your normal loot chest, but what I showed you is what you get. So it's not here, and it won't show up in your inventory either. So your ship here, it still shows zero, but you got it. So we started the screen on items, other, by showing these. There it is. Klingon messages just went up a lot. Now, you just keep doing this over and over again, or run a stronger crew, and it'll cost more, but then you can kill more. You weigh out how you want to do it. Let's do it again, and see my reward for the next ship. Sometimes they spawn really close, and you can't look ahead and see what your reward is. More Klingon again. I'll take it. Also, I click another ship and hit scan and I can watch my ship in battle and I can see how much damage I'm taking. That's another one of my fun little tricks. It's also when I know to stop farming on the Vidar or Vidar Talios. I try to really get down their min-max as much as I can. But yeah, come on out. Um, I'm honestly only going to do one more of these because I should have come out with PMC and then no Neelix. That way I can kill many more. Um, I don't believe... Let's do a test. Let's see if 5 of 11 affects this or not. I'll have to go back over the video footage and I'll put text on the screen <clears throat> to see. So there's our easy math and I have video comparison. I'll show text on the screen. Hey, but if this was helpful, please give this video a like, share it with a friend that has a Voyager, say, hey, are you doing this trick? Okay, we'll run one more quick test to finish off the video. Start off here, and I'll put this up as a still image so it floats there. Okay, here's those three, so no matter what I get, and then we'll do the math. Okay. Because I want to know if 5 of 11 or the doctor make a bit of difference. Oh, hi. Fed and ROM. Well, hey, maybe the 130 ROM will be really easy math. All right, well, I'm not going to kill anymore because I don't want to die. Okay, now let's look at that math again. Okay, I'll put the math on the screen. You decide. 
Is this for you? Do you like it? I hope so. I ran some gamer math. Starting at 27.1,000, gaining 1919, does not equal 30,900. It equaled 29,019, meaning the Doctor and 5 of 11 both increase your loot on messages. I hope this was helpful.